Um, how big? About yeah, big. Mm, yeah, yeah. That could be uh, the food supplement, and I'm not climbing up there. You can go. I'll follow. I already took the claymore out. You're fine. All right. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That sounds. Yeah. That sounds really, really stupidly dangerous. Is Yondu's shop open? You asked me if I was good with demolitions. Yes. Right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Go to the uh, Golden Waddle, sitting right there on Razzlin' Rad's desk at Claymore. I, 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 or it's in his drawer, one or the other. But Are you guys still on some drugs? Because you guys are talking about like these little uh, supplements that are purple and orange. Mm -hmm. All right, um, Logan. Yeah, I guess I head across the street there and kind of shimmy up the way I did last time and see if anybody's ransacked that little uh, bell tower up there. They have totally ransacked that little bell tower over there. Okay. Now, some interesting changes that you guys may or may not have noticed since last time you visited this place. Um, everybody has medieval style weapons. We're talking crossbows are in this season, yep. mm -hmm. spears, swords, shit like that. Uh, the military guys are mainly using spears and shields, you know, kind of short thrusting spears and shields. Um, all those, a lot of them have like short swords and stuff if they can afford it or the people who outfit them can afford it or whatever. And it looks super fascist. There's a lot of super fascist, like the clenched fist and all that. And yes, I fucking did it before, uh, uh, Rick and Morty. So suck on that Rick and Morty. And, uh, no problem. Um, now, if you're wanting to check the Great Yandun, you are literally going to have to walk all the way back to the Lower East Side, where you started from, because that's where his shop is. Okay, um, I'm confused because the tower is in the Lower East Side. You said the magic shop was in the Lower East Side. No, I said the magic shop was over in the Springham District. Ah, uh, okay. Or sorry, Rittenhouse Row, Rittenhouse Row. Rittenhouse Row, yeah, okay, yeah, your old magic repair shop, okay. A uh, yep. for, so, for sale sign is in the window. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, we can head to the Golden Waddle, and I can, I can inquire there about where we might be able to get some Chris. It's okay. all gone, I thought. Oh, no, they're still mining it, I thought. And yeah, uh, well, they're not, they won't be mining it anymore because it magic stuff... Work. Yeah, it doesn't work so well. So, um, hey, is there a garbage heap nearby? Uh, yes, it's made of sombreros. <laughs> Mostly sombreros. How uh, how uh, how many inches of sombreros do we have? Uh, about a meter. Oh God! So we're wading through. Yeah. Yeah, okay. you you, nice you got here. Up. Are you guys all wanting to wear some? A lot of people are wearing sombreros. No, I guess I'll wear a sombrero. You fit right in. I mean, they're less... Uh, people who got theirs either off the... You, they're, you can pretty much get as many sombreros <laughs> as you can carry right now for free if you wanted to. But a lot of people don't look like they're really in the sombrero mood. And one of the guys is like, better than a rain of fire, I guess. Well, I'll clean up these damn sombreros. You know, they're bitching to each other about that. Mm -hmm. Any uh, any possibility of a smurf hat amongst the uh, sombreros? No, nope, it's all sombreros. Okay, well, smurfs don't wear sombreros, so I don't put one on. What about um, sombrero smurf? <laughs> now, Mexico if you're, smurf, okay. <laughs> yeah, if you're wanting to go over to the Golden Waddle, it is in the same district as Ye Olde Magic -y Repair -y Shop -y. Right, it's in uh, it's in uh, Rittenhouse Row. Exactly. Okay. Yep. So yeah, let's go over to the Golden Wild and see what's going on. No problem at all. You guys uh, head over there wearing your sombreros and such. Uh, there, it looks like the main bar area is inhabited pretty much mostly by soldiers. But almost as soon as you guys come wandering in. The Mater D guy goes, "Oh, let me let me show you to uh, a, a different part," and he takes you back out and around to a different door because it, it looked like really hoity-toity in there. Like you better dress up super nice to get into that part, and so they pretty much instantly whisk you away to the uh, working-class people's door, 
as opposed to it. And they take you in there and they offer you drinks and food and all that. They're very, very nice, but they're keeping you the fuck away from the high rolling, high paying, well dressed customers. That's pretty right. obvious to you guys. Uh, right, you so notice I've... that uh, also in the garden is a uh, perfectly placed statue of Venus on the half shell. If you've ever seen that, like, yes, perfectly placed, but it also looks like some stuff has uh, crashed through uh, part of the roof and they're working on repairing it. And other people are working on de sombreroing the roof of the golden waddle. Right. Sombrero plows are a lot of sombreros. We need to put down some salt. That's what we need to okay, melt the sombreros. Uh, I flag down one of the workers and I say, "Hey, do you know what happened to? Do you know what happened to uh, to all the Chris?" Yes, they they stop selling it. They they assign a guy to come and talk to you while you're being given food and drinks, and you're offered baths and stuff if you want to clean up because you swamp ass. Yeah, I think we'll take yeah, advantage of that. yeah. You can't make me throw up my mouth a little bit, says <laughs> the guy. So if you want baths and stuff, we've got all that. You know, ready for you. Um, after you guys, uh, do you want to avail yourselves of that and then talk to him? Yes. He's yes. happy to wait. No problem. They even have uh, fresh adventurer clothing type things that they, they get laid out for you. Uh, but they, um, he says, uh, ever since magic kind of got really on and off, people either pretty much uh, the price started going down and then everybody decided fuck that because chris was a huge part of their economy here and so now mm -hmm. they're just stockpiling it because magic is either going to completely go away or it's going to come back and if it comes back because they they couldn't afford to sell them anymore and so they just everybody pretty much decided to stop selling them um okay. because they don't work right Plus, where are they the, being stockpiled uh are you, are you going to cause trouble? <laughs> yes. I'm going to try and avoid causing trouble, but... Um, what kind of Chris do you need and what for? They don't really work anymore. Okay, I pull out the glasses and show them the little chunk of Chris. You would, you would, see, you can't, if you tried to take it off yourself, you're probably going to break your glasses. You actually need somebody, because they make it on purpose, super hard to replace the Chris because that's a whole different industry is just replacing the Chris. So you'd actually need somebody to do that for you. Okay. Um, sure. Yeah. I mean, um, he, he says, I'll, uh, let me have the glasses and I'll send them out and see if we can get somebody to, to fix them for you. You just need a new Chris in there, whether it works or not, you don't care. Right. 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 Okay. I need a, I, I need a, a piece of Chris that was, you know, charged. Okay. I think I can make that work. Um, yeah, sure. I, I hand them. Yeah. He, he, he calls in somebody else who takes it off. He, he looks like he's pretty much staying here. Give me empathy rolls. Critical. He's babysitting you. Critical. Babysitting. Babysitting. Yeah. You guys all figure out. He's pretty much here to make sure that you get what you want within reason and don't cause any trouble for the place. And you notice there's even some other guys kind of lurking nearby, like doing repetitive tasks and stuff in case anybody goes crazy. Then they can help to dive on top of that person to restrain them for their own good. Because you guys are regarded as, you know, you work with the owners and stuff, but you may be deranged. They just don't know. You're you're kind of looked at as possible serial killers, possible heroes. They don't know which bucket, so they're just hedging their bets. Okay. Fair enough. Um, mm -hmm. I ask, is the foreman still here? I, he's off right now, uh, sleeping and stuff at, at his home. The, what do you need? Oh. Oh, um, what can I do for you? He says. Razzle and Rad introduced me, and I'm appointed as his head of security. 
Ah, ah, uh, ah. remember? Yeah. Mm, uh, he, mm, he rolls yeah. his know about shit roll. My name's Swade. Oh, Swade. Right, right. Yeah. Yes. Okay, great. Right. I try to put him a little bit at ease. Yeah. Um, He's still nervous about your other. Good. He goes, Who are be. these other guys? Uh, him? I'm not too sure about it. I point at the rock. He's, he's, uh, he's a party animal. But this guy here, Vincent, he's all right. Okay. But, um, Wait a minute. Did you say the rock? He rolls his no shit. Do you smell no, his he doesn't know. Okay. <laughs> I need a, uh, uh, just a couple questions for you here. Is uh, Colonel Dosecki still in power? Yes. Excellent. That's oh, we are We are keeping him well drunk. Excellent. That's what I wanted to make sure of. He seems very uh, fucking happy with this place. Excellent. Excellent. Although um, lately we've been having some big, big problems. Uh, we're pretty much going with the batten down the hatches thing. Because uh, mm -hmm. there's weird like electrical stuff. And we had a hail storm. And it's not the right season for that. Uh, but the hail seemed to be made of the strange white uh things go grab a couple of those white things and um we've never seen labeled hail before but uh yeah stuff like that so he he brings you and shows you uh these strange spheres that have like little dimples of little half circles on them and they all say ping on them and he says these these were particularly devastating but uh, yeah so um there's been a lot of weird stuff plus uh one of the buildings across the street completely disappeared and there was just like ground and shit left so things are going away and things are coming we we're pretty much batting down the hatches but we're keeping the alcohol flowing and stuff excellent yep um so Seki's still in power excellent mm -hmm. um Is there a private, um, doesn't have to be large, like a small conference room where we could have some, uh, um, just like a single meal, some uh, water refreshments. I'm gonna have a guest come and I would just like him to be taken care of. You mean taken care of or taken care of? Um, he's a friendly. A uh, friendly, got it, yes, yes, we'd be happy to, well, um, we can change around what's in one of the rooms, uh, I suppose. It doesn't take much. No, 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 no. I'm sure there's, I know there's back rooms, but I'm just asking for like a... Uh... Well, we had a problem with some of the back rooms because uh, we had what appears to be a tractor combine harvester crash through the roof on some of them. So, oh, um, yeah, yeah. It'll be temporary. That's fine. Well, then, if we could, even in this room, I don't know what kind of room are we in here, Logan? You're, you're in, uh, it's kind of a combination of a storage room and part of the uh, minor kitchen area. It's like a so, pre-food prep area, but they made it comfortable for you. All right. And stuff. That's fine. Um, so, not a problem. Um, who Who is it that you're wanting to bring? It's the child. The child. The child. Which child? Here we go. Guys, I need you to get ready to um, assist me here. Okay. Right. I summoned my street urchin architectural contact by pulling out a happy pie who will appear. <laughs> no problem. Like the kid comes bursting out of a cupboard, grabs hold of the back of Ralph's head and begins hitting and going, I've got happy pies, it's a pie, happy pie. And he's staggering around with I this. I spin in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, par for the course, right? <laughs> uh, the, the people who are lurking nearby attempt to grab the uh, kid and do so with alacrity and efficiency as your two party Excellent. members just watch like, <laughs> <laughs> right, they, they wrestle him off of you. I was, I was waiting for you to finish your description, but okay. <laughs> I it's give better if you just sit there and watch. Oh, he, he, he eats it and looks pissed about it. Okay. So who's this? This is the kid. Ah. Pedophile. Seems seems a little violent. I got yeah, a name. Yeah. He grumbles. <laughs> well, what's your name, little guy? Logan's looking desperately right now. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. I 
Ah, hey, 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 ah, he says Higgins. 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 Hello, Higgins. All right. Why am I still the happy pie guy, he says. <laughs> Man, have a seat. Got some questions for you here. Just refreshing, Logan. I made some great rolls with him. We oh, yeah. It. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thanks for refreshing, though. I like it. No, I managed to no find problem. his fucking file. That's that's the thing. He's got a file. Uh-oh. Oh, he's All got right. a file. Yeah. So did my friends ever come by and take care of those uh, gangsters, uh, the ones that were causing all the trouble? Nope. Uh, <laughs> shake my head. All right. Um, nah, you want, you want to hear about my troubles? Yes. Hickenbottom's getting too old for the gang because he hit 17. The rest of the kids are losing trust in him. Uh, he's also Hickenbottom's wanted for by the guards for assault, theft, and general caddishness, whatever that is. He shrugs. Old people talk. And um, let's see. Uh, also, uh, he, Hickenbottom's been working. I think he's working for those those weird, big, scary guys. Yeah. Um, also, uh, Mr. Hammerly has been, uh, uh, picking off members of our group. He's a truant officer from the school, as they call it. It's not really a school, though. It's... No, I've seen it. It's yeah. not a school. Yeah. Um, and let's see. Um, we haven't gotten paid since we last saw you. Um, oh, I got, I've got some information, though, that might be worth something. All right. I put a gold coin click on the table. There's this dude with green, crazy green hair and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know that, that barber? The Clems, yeah. it's called? Yeah. I seen him going in and not coming out. And I, later I went in and looked around. And he was nowhere in there. And the back room is fucked up. Big pit or something. I, I, I didn't like it. I got away from there. Um, Good. Smart. Something weird about that Clem guy, though. He kept wanting to give me a haircut even after I told him I didn't have any money. Um, let's see. Uh, I also found out in the downtown center area uh, where where the uh, big scary guys live. And he takes the gold coin. And there's more. I put the second gold coin down, but I keep my finger on it. The Council of uh, 13, some of them are dead, and the rest are in hiding due to uh, some sort of military guys doing stuff. Mm -hmm. Also, the I saw it <laughs> he takes it. He's like, yeah. Also, that guy with the green hair. Yeah. He, he's, he's been uh, uh, working on uh, uh starting to become the the new dawn you remember dragon dawn he used to be the yeah. dawn but now uh this this green air dude is working on becoming the new dawn of the city and i think he just wants to kill everybody i think he's crazy you should stay away from him he's bad news yeah Definitely. yeah that's about right okay he feels um, happy that he earned his money now i've got a tough one for you here okay all right, I look at this is The Rock. He's going to ask you some questions. He's trying to track down uh, a little event that happened out on the street there, and he's looking for something. This is hey, if kid. it happened on the streets, I, I, I know some of the streets. Now, keep in mind, because uh, nobody came through with their promises and stuff, glares at Swade, uh, we don't have, like, anybody with fancy clothes who can go into fancy places and stuff like that without getting picked up. And plus. Plus, you know, since the, the truant officer is after us and stuff, and he's got this, this fucking cage that he puts on the back of his cart, and he drives around on the horse and stuff, and he puts kids in the cage and takes them back to the school. And some of them die in there. But... Uh, they die in the school? Oh, yeah. It's more like a concentration camp. I've been there. I've seen it. Oh shit! Okay, gotcha. Or what yeah. was it like? East Eastern Bloc Russia or Germany description? 
Bars on the windows. Barbed wire. Barbed wire, yep. Oh yeah, it's a it's a Oliver twist with uh, uh, USSR overtones. There you go. So it's like a death camp. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty but much, they, yeah. they make men out of them there. Or the women are also made into men there. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right, Rock, Rock, go ahead and take yeah, over here, Rock. Um, sure. Um, I described the, uh, the the battle site near the Helton. Helton? Hell. If we had better clothes, glared Swade, we'd be able to get into that area and stuff. What? what um, do you know how fancy that is? Shit. That's over at the Lamborn Hall area. That's so upscale and it's heavily guarded all the time. What is it you're looking for out of there? Well, um, there was a body, um, someone was murdered there, um, he was ah. wearing shiny, really fancy armor, and he had a shield, I described the shield. I know all about all that shit, what's it worth to you? <laughs> <laughs> huh? 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 All right, <laughs> thank you. Uh, I, deep, I put Robert. down... Dig deep, don't be shy. I put down two gold pieces. He sneers at you. But really? Yeah. Okay. He just got two gold for uh, talk, talking to the suede a little bit. Actually, uh, I put down three more. more. But I'm still happy to pay the kid, you know? I put down three more. Yeah, he takes some shit. He says, all right, there was not one body. There was two bodies, a guy and a kid. And they both got taken over to... Uh... Chink, chink, chink. Lower East Side. That's how I found out about them. But there was no shiny armor and stuff when they got there. Right. Yeah, we think that was probably lifted. Um, but so the bodies were taken to the Lower East Side. Was there? Is there a, a cemetery there or something? Do you have any? Nah, burn yard. We don't bury our dead because of all the fucking scary undead in the past that popped up. Now nah, they got burned. But there's more, he says. He looks at the crate, smiles. <laughs> um, as far as the shield, I also know where the shield is and then all that, but there's more. All right, I'll give him two more. Tell me about the shield. The shield? I heard that that got taken over. Uh, it's It didn't leave Lamborn Hall where the, the murders took place. There's... there's I heard that there's an illegal poker game that goes on there, but they they took the shield and they had it hung up there, but then some sort of horrible demon or something ran through the walls and broke all the walls and the shield was gone. Yeah. Yeah. And the bodies were burned. But then somebody came and got them out of the government uh, thing. They paid for the, the burn and the urn, you know? That's what they call it, the burn and the urn. Mm -hmm. Yep. So those are okay. gone, too. Sorry. What else are you looking for? Armor, you said? Uh, I haven't heard about any armor. Yeah. Um, Rascor the Red. Have you ever heard of Rascor the Red? Oh, Rascor the Red. Ah, uh, No. What's he do for a living? Not sure. Uh, some friend of mine, some friends of mine, told me about him. Oh. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what he's up to. But just that he had the armor. Oh. Thank you for your information. Uh, yes, I apparently know a lot of shit. He says, looking at the young, camera. Young yeah, yeah, very good, very good. Thank you, Swade. It's mm -hmm. really helpful. Yeah, I'm gonna use this this money to like feed all the other guys and stuff because we're still in hiding. Because you know, hell, if I save up enough money, maybe I can buy our own place to stay. But yeah, my colleague's working on that. We're, we're working on that with the colonel. Remember, we're trying to get you the orphanage. That's in the works. Remember with the teacher, we were building yeah. a school. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah. wait. It, it, when will it be done? I'm going to be talking to my friend very soon here. We're going to get that moving. Okay. Great. Here, in the meantime, uh, here, take this other, uh, I like even numbers here. Take this other eight gold and... Uh, I like even yeah. numbers too, he says quickly. 
Um, so go ahead and uh, just make sure you guys get a couple of good sets of clothes so you can start uh, maneuvering. You got it, Mr. Swade. All right. See you next time. No problem. We'll get we'll get some people uh, prettied up real good so they can go wherever you want. We'll keep our uh, um, we'll keep our ear to the ground and our wheel to or the shoulder to the wheel. But I gotta tell you, that's a real hard way to work. I don't know why they just, uh, he mutters as he wanders off. <laughs> okay. Why do I have Nelly so grindstones? He's moving. <laughs> I gotta tell you, Swade, that was pretty close to all my gold. Thought I was gonna run out there. Ow. Not a wealthy man. You're not. The kid is He's now. Money in. The kid's I, thinking uh, he's got a windfall there. That's a lot of fucking money you guys gave him. He is fucking yeah. delighted. Uh, Ralph, make a note that this kid's. Uh, uh, believe, believes that you are um, extremely gullible and he really likes coming to give you whatever information he's got. Excellent, I will. I just have no value to money, that's all. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't try to carry uh, large amounts of cash on me. Uh, I can oh, I have no money. Mm -hmm. You don't even know what money is. <laughs> Who are you I trying to fool? Knives are. <laughs> knives are money. Not so, money. So I guess we can go to the Lower East Side and inquire about the uh, the burn site. Yeah. yeah, I'll let you take the lead on this one. Okay. No problem. You guys go to the government burn yard in the Lower East Side. Uh, this place, the Lower East Side, uh, is really it's gritty. It's definitely down market. Uh, there's a lot of people just sitting around uh, waiting for. Who knows what life to come and move them something um, there's rabbit warrens of slums uh, there's there's a fire station that's been closed warehouses including the one that you guys came in through uh, big molasses making company it also stores big barrels of it and factories where children with tiny hands can find employment in the Oliver Twist death factory mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Because that's that's child labor at its finest. Normal today, you have to go to Asia to get that kind of thing going. Um, but yeah, the government burn yard itself, uh, they're they're like, can I help you? City yeah, guards. Um, uh, there was a delivery a while ago. Um, I described Benedict's son, and I described his young page. Ah, he. Mm, yeah, guy. Uh, they were killed over in the uh, uh, um, that other place. He says the uh, uh, fancy uh, uh, Lamborn Hall, isn't it? They were killed over yeah, there. Helton, Helton, Hel by the Helton. Ah, yeah, yeah. We're investigating the murders, and uh, we we were hoping that there'd be some evidence. He raises an eyebrow. You don't look like city guards to me he says he is a city guard no no we're private detectives i opened my hard backstop id signed by colonel dosaki i kind of cover up most of it and just see the colonel dosaki's signature he goes oh i thought that they outlawed private detectives but colonel dosaki sure uh he, put... he says uh yeah the the uh give me a prestigitation there to <laughs> have him think no more about this ralph all right, let's see what they got going on here. <laughs> All right, here we go. You'd always ask people for cards. I don't even know what my press digitation is. It's got to be that low. Oh, dear. I got plus 10% assist. There you go. Oh, an yeah, assistant? Station, print, assistant plus 10? Yeah, uh, you might want to, it's, yeah. it's right under, uh, it's in the same row oh, as I found it. the third room. Yeah. 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 Don't yeah, trade yeah. him. Don't trade him the assistant. Just play it. Yeah. Yeah, just play it. And then hopefully he's got yeah. a skill plus card. Yeah, I'll just play the plus 10%. Okay. 
Oh, you didn't take my card, did you, Jay? No, Vince. wait. Is it is that an assistant ten or is that just a skill ten? Oh, Vince is playing. It's an assist ten. Oh, ah, I got you. I'm jolly good. I'm jolly, right. jolly good. Okay. Hang on here. So, do you have any skill cards, Ralph? No. The card no, looks just, a bit confused at the. Let's just wing it here. Play. Ah, ha, ha. He says, "I will actually spend a point. I know I don't do this often, but Ooh. I'm trying to help my friend the Rock." Okay, the skill ten goes away, but you've still got a, a really high percentage. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. In all my time, I think that's the second hero point I spent, Rock. So oh. I hoard those things. Oh. Here we go. Do you have some good overflow going? Yeah, I'm like at 43, 44. Oh, you're you're almost in kissing distance of your first uh, special power. Yep. Ah. Yeah, sure. he, he seems confused, but not uh, overly yeah. suspicious like you would be with a fumble where it's, you know. Yeah. He, he, give me empathy rolls. Yes. Fail. Uh, those who made it, he's suspicious enough that as long as you keep it super general, but if you, uh, you're you thinking that it's one of those things where if you start trying to get too much out of him, then he's going to want to see that idea again. Right. So he goes, yeah, they were in, burned, and then their remains were claimed by some guys. He shrugs. Some guys? Ah, uh, yeah, they're kind of dressed... Uh, well, a lot like you, actually. He looks at your adventure clothing. Nobody else had claimed them for a couple of weeks, so we let them have them. They paid the fees. Very good, very good. Okay, um, thank you for the information. He shrugs and goes back to uh, their burn stuff. They burn a lot of the trash here. Okay. And we'll see some yeah, right now, sombrero burning time. Let's have a sombrero burn. Yeah. Teach him the art of the wicker man, yeah. Ooh. Sombrero man. So, <laughs> so we uh I guess we step away. I, I step away. You guys um, all wander off. Motion to yeah, we, we uh I, while we're walking, I'm like, okay, it sounds like uh some other some other friends of ours may have, may have already claimed the body, so I'll I'll, uh, I'll put that on the inner realm boards and sure. see if we've got any uh, any leads there. Um, the shield, ooh, I don't like the sense of a the idea of a horrible demon. Uh, do we have any uh, fancy clothes? It can't be any worse than any of your demons, is it? I don't know. I seen things get pretty. <laughs> I <got those>. Eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> Things same things get pretty bad. Um, do we have any? Uh, do you have any uh, uh, high class clothes? I kind of want to check into the Helton. Um, there was a situation over there where one of our drop points was uh, sealed up, and I want to see what's going on on the outside. I'm going to throw away a loose stun. Doesn't anybody want it? Mm, yeah, sure. I just threw away, I'm sorry, that was the wrong one. I threw away Clueless. Are we being followed, Logan? Ooh, that's a really good question. Why don't you give me a counter surveillance? Just you, Ralph. Just you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You kind of yeah. casually keep an eye on things and stuff as you're wandering around the city with these guys. Yeah. So close. Who knows? What you're looking a, at there, sweet. It, it's hard to tell because everybody's wearing sombreros. Sombreros. <laughs> what you looking at there, Swade? He doesn't appear to be looking at anything because if you're any good at this, you're just kind of glancing around. He, he seems to be looking at piles of sombreros that are being brought to the burn center. Okay. You only don't know what that is. I'd be able to see, but okay. Yeah, he's just looking around like, I'm in sombrero land. Look, there's, there's all the all the t buildings are capped with sombreros, badly. 
You're guessing several hundred thousand sombreros were dumped on this fucking town. I wonder how many people died. Probably a few. There's always some sombreros. Yeah. What a fucking way to go. So, Logan, are these luck rolls for uh, Trump? Are they happening every time I try to Trump somewhere? Yes. And unless you're using, unless you're Trumping to a person, no luck roll is needed for that. However, if they shape shift, then it breaks them. Unless you get the uh, Trump skill where you are painting the essence of the person, then those are a okay. Okay, cool. Um, hey, Rob, right, so the super, the super Trumps are. All right, okay, got it. Yes. Yeah, well, have you ever uh, you known anybody try to tr city. Trump to somebody who's not around? What happens if you try to Trump to Freddy? Um, a gate opens up by Freddy, and you can communicate with you can communicate with the person. He can pull you through. Hmm. Might yeah, be worth those, experimenting. We use those to go grab yeah. stuff. <laughs> we use we use personal trumps to go grab stuff and uh, in other right. dimensions, and then bring them back. There, there are some trumps that the luck roll is not at half, but those are getting more rare. All right. So, you want to go check out at least where that building was? Um, yeah, I want to get some fancy room. clothes, though, first from the embassy. So we fit in a little better. Okay. Which, where does right. your Trump go into, where, where's your Trump exit point at the embassy? Um, I have... Ah, damn it. Equipment page. Oh, hold on. I'm going to go quick bio while you guys chat and get it together. Yeah. I, I would figure we'd take Clems there. There's Clems in this town. There's a Clems in, um, and there's a Clems in, in the, uh, in that zone now. However, it's password protected. I should tell you the password. So there's a passcode for entering and leaving the uh... Don't say it out loud. Yeah, there's a password for entering Don't and leaving say it. the uh... I know, I know. That I need to relate to you. And at this point, I guess I make a counter surveillance check. As I suddenly realized I shouldn't even said that without checking. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. This is fine. It's all fine. Did you look at the family tree yet? Huh? Did you look at the family tree? No, I haven't. Do you have a copy of that? Oh, it's on the, uh... It's on the boards? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, um, we need to get to the embassy and get some fancy clothes and then come back here. And, um... Then we should check out the Helton in, um, in the area around, see about that demon. The demon tore ass through there. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any money for uh, greasing ponds anymore. I only have a little bit, but we'll see. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we can question, we can, we can ask around about the demon. We can call ourselves demon hunters. Um, mm -hmm. There's a link for you if you don't. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so uh, where does your Trump come out at the embassy? I was going to try and take Clems. Oh, he's. Oh, just so you know, Logan, just as the background is, he started talking about passwords and password protected Clems, and I told him shush, and he's like, oh. 
And then I looked around with the counter surveillance because I realized I shouldn't even be talking about that. And I failed my counter surveillance too. Awkward. Yep. You're thinking that Rock may not be a good head of security. <laughs> So we're going to head back to the golden model, maybe find a nice quiet room. You I can... think you might be at count cross purposes now. One guy's wanting to head one way, and our guy's wanting to head well, another way. What I was going to say is, I know you want to go to the Clems, but it, we sh you should go somewhere private where you could write it down and then eat the piece of paper. Yeah, yeah, okay, sure. Ah, Let's... you guys go back to the pretty much servant's entrance of the Golden Lotto. Someday maybe you know, you'll be dressed up good enough to get in the front door of your own club, but that day is not today. So <laughs> you guys head over there, and yes, they're happy to uh, give you a quill, ink, and parchment. Okay. You guys then go off. They, they have a couple of people who are keeping an eye on you from a distance to make sure that you don't burn anything down because they don't know if one of you guys actually is or knows Freddy Firestarter, for example, and this is mostly a wooden building with some brick, you know. So mm -hmm. they're keeping an eye. Plus smoke damage, you know, it's inconvenient. Okay, so um, we're in a reasonably private place. I write down the password with the quill. Can I tell him? Yes, it is annoying as shit to write with a quill, and you keep going because it goes up. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, you may tell them the password, and then you uh, eat the ink and parchment. Is he left-handed? <laughs> I think he's right-handed. Is Rock right-handed? I'm right-handed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, otherwise I'd have ink all over my hands. Um, yeah, the password is a dingo ate your baby. <laughs> Not again, I say. Yeah. Not yeah. my choice. I don't know. I think it was a Freddy thing. <laughs> no, that's a rat thing. They have some weird shit going on sometimes. Yeah. yeah. All right, so now um, we should burn the paper or something that you suggest. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. All right, I'll eat the paper. Wow, is that fucking uncomfortable. <laughs> no problem. Uh, after lunch, uh, you guys. <laughs> All right, so forward to the clams. No problem. Uh, let's see. The um... Right. You guys uh, head out from Rittenhouse Row, and pretty much it's all the way across town. You have to go by the Justice Center, lots of guards and stuff, and they also have, like, stocks, whipping post, hangman's noose. You're thinking justice is of the rough and ready variety here past the downtown center that has a lot of very shifty looking streets and alleys and a really impressive amount of brothels with such names as Bed Bath & Beyond, the Out Inn, the Haunted Vagina, the Come and Go, the Beast with Two Backs, and the, um, yeah, those are the main ones. And then over to, and they used to have trams, but now the trams are becoming like, they're the horse drawn kind, if you've ever seen those. And from there, you guys head over to Weapons and Armor Row. The guards keep an eye on you, but it looks like you've bathed and changed clothes recently. So even though this is a well guarded, clean and efficient area, you're able to not get kicked out immediately from it. And that's where it Clems is. You're thinking for future use if you come in like having bathed in a few days, looking like normal adventurers. You probably, if you're not exiting the district quick, then you know uh, you will be exiting district quick. Uh, here they have um, a general store called the Gnome Depot. Uh, there's a restaurant called the Slaughterhouse. There's also a blade uh, seller called Sharps. Sharps. And then, of course, Clem's Barbershop. Okay. Um, yeah, let's step into the Clem's and go to the embassy. No problem. Uh, you guys go into Clem's, and Clem's like, Howdy, what can I do you for? Uh, shave, Clem. Hot towel? Yes. 
Where are you going back to? Furry Western. The dingo ate your baby. Them as well? Yes. Hot towels are applied to all of you guys, and when they are taken off, you have all gone blind. You can't see shit. Your eyes are not working. Darkness prevails. It is absolute inky blackness. You shit. are still sitting in barber chair, so. Okay, uh, I take the hot towel off my face. Oh no, the hot towel was removed from your face. But you are still yeah. sitting in inky blackness. Oh, they never did build it the right way. All right. Okay, uh, I start looking, I start feeling for the lamp. Uh, you, that will require getting up and blundering around in the dark, if that's okay. Yes, very, very, very slowly and carefully blunder around in the dark. All right, no problem. You, you blunder around. Give me a feel roll. Come on, just give me a fail. Ah, you feel nice. where the lamp should be because it's got like a little sconce, but then the lamp itself is not on the sconce. And you feel to where the matches should be and the matches are not there either. Terrific. Um, I start looking for the door. Uh, you feel big spikes and stuff uh, after, like, you open the regular barbershop door, and then there's really big, brutal spikes that you can feel. And right, right. Hey, Rock, I think you have to yell, and then the guards are by the door, and then they'll peek in, and then they'll make sure it's safe. Or... Yeah, yeah. Um... <sighs> Okay, I uh, I go, uh, hey, hey, associates of the ambassador in here, help. The uh, guards uh, uh, go, stand back from the door. And then they open the yeah. door and they peek it. And it pretty much goes down how he said. <coughs> Eventually, you guys get let out. Yeah, it looks like the, the uh, lights and stuff have all been removed from here. Okay. Why? Uh, why is the uh, why is the barbershop dark? Do you know? Because the Joker uses it, so it's built inside of a bunker, and then they booby trapped it, and they're guarding it. Well, we took out the lanterns because Freddy Firestarter uses it. We don't want to build a new one. Yes, of course. Okay. Um, <laughs> they just nod like this should be obvious. <laughs> Yeah, okay. But um, yes, the, the barber shop is inside of a big fucking stone building and it's got the big huge fucking doors that have a cross beam and they got all the spikes so if anybody wants to kick them open or bash them open, they are definitely going to take some serious damage from that shit. So, yeah, 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 that's why it's completely dark in there. Absolutely. Okay. Can we get some lighting in there? Nope. They tell you. Freddy again. Sorry. We security is more important than comfort. If you come in there, all you have to do is remain seated and yell for us. We can hear you. We listen. Very good. Unless Very good. there's a lot of noise out here. Like if we're under attack or something, then you're going to be stuck sitting there. But eventually somebody will let you out. Okay. And nice sombreros. Thank you. Uh, I'm not wearing one. Oh, nice sombreros to you two. Then. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, we head over to the embassy um, proper. Yeah. Um, I building. try to flag down Elwin. Elwin looks really, really busy. I uh, he's like, okay. what's up? Uh, can you uh, direct me to a member of your staff? You look really busy. That can help us procure some clothes. <laughs> Sure, he uh, does so. Fancy clothes. Fancy clothes. Um, okay, we've got some. Uh, right, the kind of fancy clothes they've got here are pretty much like fancy gunfighter pinstripe suit, uh, bowler hat. Definitely a very different style than you would find anywhere in Gothic, for sure. Gothic is right. like post cyberpunk, and here they have fancy back east cowboy clothes. All right, so this may not work. Okay. Very, very. It will definitely stand out, big time. Yeah. Okay. 
that's not helpful. The, uh, the uh, seamstress just glares at you. Yeah, I'm sorry. We're, we're going to a foreign country, and uh, I think they'll be suspicious <laughs> of that style. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but... Uh, all right, I'm bringing up the vault in the um, in the Beeskin Australian Embassy Storage, Embassy Money Storage. There we go. Oh, not a lot. Four chocolate happy pies with note use on Jack Suede in case of crankiness. <laughs> Okay, that's interesting. A lot of weird shit that gets put away in the vaults. Okay, so knowing um, knowing what the zone styles are like, uh, can we pick something like that up in Shermer? Uh, possible, possible. I, I mean, uh, you can get nice suits for everybody. Uh, right, how about how about in? Um, in Guri. Does Guri have similar clothes? Guri. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's a different country. It's different styles in every country. Um, right. I'm just looking for something that we won't stick out like a sore thumb. Uh, both of them will stick out a little bit, but the suits from Shermer, if you were to get suits from Shermer, especially if you made some alterations on them, like if you have sewing skill, then but they would work if you just had a nice, you know, if you had like a John Wick style suit, then that would, it would be kind of downplaying uh, the, how fancy you are. Cause a lot of the stuff in uh, um, uh, the post cyberpunk is just weird shit. They, they mm -hmm. just imagine going out the ass end of the cyberpunk culture and then, you know, going further. Right, so lots of rivets and bullshit. weird shit, yeah. Paperclip chains. And sure. Stuff. Right. Okay. Um, I do not have enough Shermer bucks to do it in Shermer. Let me see if I got anything in Morass. Might have enough sleaze back bucks. That's that'd be some very you would you would definitely look like foreigners. I mean, you can even even with the clothes here, you could dress like nice enough that. You're going to stand out either way. Unless you have their style of clothes, you'll definitely stand out. But the question isn't whether you're standing out. It's whether you're dressed well enough to get into it. Right, right. You could be rich foreigners okay. from some place with weird fashion sense, you know, or something. But, right, okay. Yeah, all the, all the places have very, very different styles. So I describe the style of clothes since I've been to the Helton before to the seamstress. She looks baffled and confused. Let me look and see what her knowing about shit role is. She goes, oh, yeah, like uh, the post-cyberpunk uh, um, styles? Yeah. Oh, why didn't you say so? I'm sorry. <laughs> she just looks at you. She's like, we do travel around, you know. We are Doras. Oh, oh, this is one of the MMO people. Uh-huh. Oh okay. yeah, those guys. Those guys work their asses off. The PCs often regard them as just a burden, but they are producing a lot of shit here and working on paying their keep and uh, then some. Plus, okay, Rascal yeah, and Brad um, keeps them busy. Can you please flag me down when I'm talking to one of those MMO doors? Uh, pretty much everybody who's working at the um, embassy now, with the exception of a couple of minor staff, are those guys. They, uh, okay. yeah. All right, so uh, oh, yeah, we guards. need uh, cyberpunk fancy, um, you know, associated with gothic. Ooh. She has some. She uh, produces. <laughs> she produces them. Somehow she shits you out uh, the appropriate clothing to dress fancy there. Okay. I All don't right. know why she has them here, but apparently she's been fucking moonlighting, making this bullshit. So she gets you guys all decked out in. Post cyberpunk clothes. Okay. Thank you very much. Is there anything we can do for you? Yes. Raw material, lots of it, different styles and stuff. Right. Okay. More um, is merrier. 
Would um, would Shermer or uh, Voras materials do? All kinds. Also, uh, fashion magazines uh, from whatever different zones and stuff. Because apparently, I have to outfit numerous. I'm the costume designer for numerous zones. So any kind of fashion magazines and materials you can get to me would be a big help. Right. Okay, I think we can do that for you. That would be great. Yeah, more is better. And anytime you're done using some clothes, if you don't want them anymore, you can just drop them here because I have hundreds of people to outfit with clothes. Yeah, uh, we're going to have to set up some kind of supply line. I'll talk to the ambassador about that. She looks impressed. Hmm. Well, All right, well, yeah. thank you for the service. Fantastic. Yeah. She looks impressed with herself and goes back to what she was doing. Okay. Nice. Nice. All right. So I guess we all dress up in our new fancy cyber <coughs> clothes. I'm not hearing Vincent talk enough. He's just been eating this whole time. And I understand now why people say kids cost a lot. It's because they eat everything. Oh, no. I'm just super confused. I'm just slowly piecing together everything, and I'm kind of starting to wake up because I got up like six in the morning, so my brain's just sort of dead. Yeah, and you're in absorption mode, and, and stuff is bouncing off your head when it's too much. And yeah, yeah, I did that for. So I've just been chilling back and thinking. That's all. Have you been okay. thinking anything useful for these guys? Um, my character hasn't really been or seen anything so no but what about well, you what have you been thinking about yeah. um <laughs> I don't know. He's a teenager. got it um. no, not doing the thinking thing right now okay i'm having trouble doing the thinking thing right now uh, you got bad rust today, Logan. Oh, uh, the rock has gotten. Yeah, yesterday rust was fucking on. I don't know what the fuck was going on with that shit, but he was like, on more than normal on. Like I, I rolled a crit asleep. for the day on, and I was like, <laughs> yes. So like, anyway, like we've said, uh, we have this phenomenon where we have good rust and bad rust, and there's nothing in between. So either I'm on like a like a son of a bitch, or I'm just like. Uh, in a fog. Well, you're, you're, doing, fog this you're, you're, you're doing okay now, but um, I, 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 the reason I asked Vince is I just wanted to give the other two guys some uh, opportunity to say some shit and stuff. Exactly. You, you guys are all outfitted in uh, post cyberpunk uh, uh, fancy clothes. You've all got those. I, whether you want to put them on now or later is up to you because they are fancy and fairly flimsy. That's that, right. so you can show off just how rich you are by having clothing that's easy to destroy. Okay, so uh, let's uh, let's get a meal. That's easy. You, they've got days. almost a soup line thing that's going. They got the ever ever boiling soup thing going on. The ever cooking stew pot. So that's that's easy to get a hold of. Okay. Um... So what are you stumped on, Russ? So we came here to get some. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not totally stumped now. I just want to take care of ourselves because we're going to be cleaned up and ready to go when we start. Uh, we're going to question people about the demon at Lamborn. 